Hello, welcome to video four. What is material? The linear interpolate node. Linear interpolate or LERP is a node that basically allows you to put in a value between zero and one and get back a fractional result based on what you put in. Now, let me show you this in example. So I have this texture material, this brick texture on this wall. I want to give it a little bit of a grunge effect. So using a LERP node, I can basically adjust this where my grunge texture slowly fades in and then is multiplied on top of it. And the nice thing is because the LERP node takes a value between zero and one, I set this up where it's adjustable. So let's see how this works. Now, if you've ever used the regular LERP node inside of blueprints, it's basically going to be the same thing. You have three inputs, an A, a B, and an alpha. A is your input, B is your input, and alpha is which percentage between your A and your B is sent to the output. So in this example, I have this muddied brick texture, and this is gonna be my A, or it's gonna be my zero value. Then I have this solid texture, which does not have any dirt, and that's gonna be my B value, or one. So if I was to put in a value of one, into my alpha here, it's going to display B 100%. If I put in zero, it's going to display A 100%. And of course, if I put in a partial value like 0.5, it's going to display half of this and half of this. So that's it. That's all the LERP does. It allows you to easily transition between two different things in a percentage value. And down here, basically I did the same thing for the normal map and I'm driving it with one parameter, driving the same alpha value. So as you can see from here, this is my texture. If I open up my material instance, let's go ahead and move this to the side. We'll set this up here so you can actually see it. We're gonna see, actually I don't even need that, I'll just open up the material instance. We're gonna set this back to one. One is gonna be our second texture, and as you can see it's solid. Zero will be the first texture, which is going to be the roughness over the texture itself. And then if we slide between zero and one, you can see them slowly switching back and forth. And of course, you can go negative values, which give you weird effects, or you can go overblown values, which is basically going to give you the complete opposite effect. So that is what a LERP node is for. It allows you to put in two things and get out one thing based on how much you want of the two things when you combine them together. That's it, it's a really simple node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.